So the latest New World patch landed today, the great massive November patch, which added in the void gauntlets and changed many other weapons. It also fixed the nerf to many other things, but actually guys, there's a few changes they didn't tell anyone about. And today I bring you 10 plus of the ones I found and seen reported. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10k marks of fortune. To be in the chance of winning them, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. I will pick a winner from the comment section of my videos over the past week, so the more videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning these. And good luck everybody. So sneaky Amazon made a few changes and didn't tell anyone about them. For the most part in my opinion these are bad changes also and let's be real there's probably hundreds more if you do know of any i don't mention today let me know in the comments section so let's go so you know those bears those wolves and those stags that drop those quintessences well guys that has changed they now drop the equivalent or close to what it would take to craft a quintessence in molds so they drop a ton of malts now. What this will do is obviously drop the value of those malts down. I can see them selling for most now a 0.01 or 2. Malts for people like me who used to farm them to sell these to make decent profit are going to be worthless now. So yeah, the bears that give you the lodestone, the wolves that give you the wide wood, and the stags that give you a headache trying to follow them around now give you a ton of malts instead of those quintessences. Other things I've noticed is trees, mature trees and young trees have changed. Well for me what I've seen anyway, it seems all the skinny trees now are young trees and the thicker trees are now mature trees. This has seriously put me off when trying to get one or the other, but I guess it's a change I can easily get used to. Another report I'm seeing flying by many many people is that every item that's been uh, affected, either crafted, brought, duped or anything like that, even if the owner has no idea, the item has been removed from the player's inventory. So if you have a brought a weapon you knew nothing about, but that weapon is a result of a dupe or crafted using items that have been duped or anything of that manner, there's a good chance that it would have just vanished. Which is utterly crazy because at the end of the day it may not have been the player's fault. Hopefully in return they get their materials back. It also seems guys that many many enemies across the world Enemies that were popular to farm have had their health drastically increased to a point where some of these are now impossible to farm solo. A weird change again. We also see many reports from many different sources that certain enemy mobs are way tankier and also deal way more damage depending on the number of players within said area. Even if player isn't directly attacking or interacting with said enemy, if that player or multiple players are in the vicinity of said enemy, its health and damage increase drastically. I've also seen reports of the same kind of system with loot chests. The more players in said area, the worse that loot becomes. A system a lot like the one we know, where if multiple groups are attacking the same enemy, farming the same enemy, that enemy's loot pool splits across said groups. Also guys, Merkguard and those amazing portals no doubt you love running like me have drastically changed and enemies here have been scaled up incredibly. I mean they seem OP now. They are a lot harder now even with multiple teams. This is no doubt the result of the amount of people daily farming these. Amazon are putting their foot down, no doubt about it. It's also pretty set in stone that elite chests have been nerfed into the floor with the loot from said chests being way way worse than what they were pre-patch. I mean I was running Merc Guard today guys and I was getting significantly less loot drops from enemies too. This could have just been a me thing but I definitely felt it. Another thing I'm seeing many reports on are people's gear seemingly downgrading. Firstly I've seen reports of shields doing it but now I'm seeing many things like weapons seemingly downgrading. I saw a report of someone before the patch had a nice epic hatchet after the patch it turned into a rare. But on the plus note there are reports of people's weapons actually upgrading. I saw a post where some guy's spear went from a rare into a legendary even skipping an epic. I mean congrats to you buddy. I mean I don't know what's going on here but something doesn't seem right at all. Also guys it seems as though now luck has been removed from many items. Or luck has been downscaled percentage wise. Also guys, honey trees now drop a majority of bees wax. 
But didn't they say within that patch notes that honey trees will not be affected by the nerfs to honey you can grab within towns? Interesting. Another thing I'm seeing people a little annoyed about is the Syndicate Epic chess piece, the one with that clipping hoodie. Well, to fix this, guys, Amazon removed the hoodie altogether. I mean, this has got to make you laugh. And well, last up, guys, and probably one good change I'm seeing people report, which I haven't tested myself, so I'm hoping someone or one of you guys can confirm this. And that is you can seemingly trade now with other players within those dungeons. So you want to help somebody out with a weapon, a potion, whatever, seemingly you can now. But yeah guys, if you know of any other changes, please let us know by leaving a comment down below. But yes, some crazy changes today. Ones I feel have been purposely made to make that grind longer than it already is. Weird changes though in my opinion. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.